Hi students, it's Mr. Bashline and Gabby. And tonight we're reading one of my daughter's favorite books, There's a Locket in My Pocket. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau? Or a wasset in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a zlock behind the clock. And that zelf up on that shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp, and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot, but the yachtle in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. I like the zable on the table and the gear under the chair. But the bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those numbers in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that toothbrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that vug under the rug. And that Quimney up the chimney, I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zal shoots down the hall. But the yaps on the steps, they're great fun to have around, and so are many, many other friends that I have found. This is the best part in the book. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. And the geeling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower. And the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it, that's the kind of house I live in and I hope we never leave it. All right, have a good night. Hello, my name is Brian Wagaman, and I am the CEO of Erie Federal Credit Union. At the credit union, we teach people about money and how to save money so they can do all the fun things they wanna do in life. I am so grateful for the opportunity to support Bedtime Stories with Perry Community. What an awesome idea. Reading is so very important and can open your eyes to a whole world of opportunities. Did you know that most anything you want to learn or discover about the world can be found in a book or on the internet? It's true. It's actually how I learned about computers. It's simple. Think about what you want to learn, find a book about it, and just start reading. It's so easy and you're going to learn so much. Today, I'll be reading my favorite book that my parents read to me when I was younger, Dr. Seuss's One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. So what do you say? Let's get started. <clears throat> By Dr. Seuss, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue. Some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. 
and some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. What a lot of funny things go by. Some have two feet and some have four. Some have six feet and some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Some are high and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask us why, go ask your mother. Say, look at his fingers. One, two, three, how many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? He has eleven. Eleven, this is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So, if you like to go bump, bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of the bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of the bed up here. We like our bike. It is made for three. Our mic sits up in the back, you see. We like our mic, and this is why. Mike does all the work when the hills get high. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh dear, oh dear, I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear. But he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old, my teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. My shoe is off and my foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old, my teeth are gold. And now my story is all told. We took a look, we saw a nook on his head he had a hook. On his hook, he had a book. On his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So, what good to a nook is a hook cook book? The moon was out and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the night of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. 
I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans. And that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox. In yellow socks, I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high and my ying sings low. And we are not too bad, you know. This one, I think, is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So, if you have a lot of ink, then you should get a yink, I think. Hop, hop, hop. I am a yop. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop hop I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night from right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop hop hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Brush, 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 comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this wet pet get. Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with 10 cats on your head? Did you ever milk this kind of cow? Well, we can do it. We know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun, and fun is good. Hello, hello, are you there? Hello, I called you up to say hello. I said hello, can you hear me, Joe? Oh no, I cannot hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good, and I know why. A mouse has cut the wire. Goodbye. From near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair up on their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast, they say. They need a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish swish. Then I say, I wish for fish, and I get fish right on my dish. So. If you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with my ish wish dish. At our house, we play out back. We play a game called Ring the Gack. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have the only Gack in town. Look what we found in the park. In the dark, we will take him home. We will call him Clark. He will live at our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. And now, good night. It is time to sleep. So we will sleep with our pet, Zeep. Today is gone. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. 
the end. Thank you again for allowing me the opportunity to read this story to you today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Take care.